Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design and assemble a syringe. See, at syringe we will design each and every part of the syringe and we will assemble at the end. So, let's start how to do it. Now here we will start first part of syringe, syringe body. So, let's start choose top plane sketch center line and draw one vertical line select a line and start from origin point connect with select the line and connect from one end to last end now exit from the line now assign the length distance 13 mm 2 mm the upper length 12.5 mm and the middle length keep 100 mm that's it now choose revolve boss base select ok now the color here we want to apply select 255 255 this is actually transparent color during assembly we will see now select this face choose plane and create one plane just 4 mm above the plane ok now choose this plane sketch and draw one circle here just above the origin point and keep the distance 6 mm and the diameter of circle 8 mm ok now select exit now here we want to create one relation select lifted boss base first select this and select edge now see ok now select this face sketch and select convert entity now it is converted extrude extrude up to 15 mm and degree keep 6 degree ok now hide this plane now see now select right plane sketch normal and first draw a center line or no need to draw a center line directly select corner rectangle and start from this point origin point up to here exit choose a line and connect one line from this end to up to here exit now assign the ang angle make 70 degree ok choose trim entity and trim these outer faces that's it now select circle and draw one circle here and keep the diameter 0.5 mm and let's say outer distance seven mm okay trim trim this outer part and this that's it now just drag this our point little inside okay now select the center gap keep 11 mm ok and this point it is up to you up to where you can drag up to where select revolve cut select this line as a axis ok now see it is hollow it is cut now again choose right plane sketch 
and we want to cut it from here also exit now choose a line connect it exit now let's assign the angle keep 6 degree okay now let's make the gap bigger it is up to you how much you want okay now select revolve cut select this line as a axis okay now see it is cut it now see inside choose fillet constant fillet zero point five mm first select this line and select this inside okay now select this face sketch normal and draw one vertical line and one horizontal line select this outer line choose convert entities select circle and draw one circle and keep the diameter 10 mm and the distance from origin point keep 20 mm okay select mirror and mirror this circle okay now choose line and connect from here to this circle okay now make sure this tangent okay now select the same here also this line and this circle exit select this line and make sure it is tangent okay now select both the lines mirror about this line okay now choose trim entities and trim in inside inside circles or unnecessary parts what we that's it now select extruded boss and here select up to surface and here inside select this surface okay now see uh, we forget something again select sketch edit and uh, select this line and click convert entities okay now exit now see the hollow now we will choose we want to make scale on the main body first we will create one plane so choose top 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 plane plane and create one plane above the top plane 15 mm okay now select this plane sketch normal okay now draw a cent center line again draw two lines now assign the gap gap between these two lines 5 mm and the distance from here 7.5 mm now select rectangle and draw one rectangle okay now assign 0.5 and the length 
सेवन पॉइंट फाइव एम एम एंड द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम हियर टू आउटर लाइन एटीन पॉइंट नाइन एम एम दैट सेट नाउ चूज लीनियर पैटर्न सेलेक्ट वाई एक्सिस नाउ फर्स्ट सेलेक्ट दिस ऑल फोर कॉर्नर्स एंड वाई एक्सिस मेक टू डिस्टेंस की फिफ्टीन एम एम एंड मेक फोर फाइव लेंथ ओके नाउ हियर सेलेक्ट कॉर्नर रेक्टेंगल एंड ड्रॉ सम मोर रेक्टेंगल जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एम एम एंड द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम हियर टू दिस एंड थ्री एम एम ओके नाउ चूज लीनियर पैटर्न सेलेक्ट दिस ऑल फोर लाइन्स एंड एक्स एक्सिस कीप जीरो and y axis select keep down make the distance 3 mm and we want to make up to 20 number of things select okay now that's it now select extruded cut we want to cut it now here we have to select one by one our all the planes it will take little time but now select the distance 0.5 mm and choose offset from surface select this as a surface and here choose reverse offset and translate surface select okay now you can see we created we created the scale on body now we will sketch some number select this plane sketch normal okay let's do it like that select center line okay now choose center line now assign the distance from here 2.25 let's make minus 2.25 okay so number we will start from here select mirror uh, linear pattern select this line and keep distance Fifteen mm. Uh, this axis uh, make zero. Y axis keep. First select this line, this point. This first clear. Select this line. Fifteen and select up to five. Okay. Now choose 
number uh, here write 50 mm and uh, see it should be we are looking like this so try to make okay assign the number key point Fourteen mm century gothic okay select okay now select this point and make it minus two again uh, now that's okay now select this face mat 40 point 14 regular gothic select okay now select this line 30 mm okay select the last line uh, second last line 20 Again, this last line and uh, here okay. Now select ex <coughs> extruded cut. All the points are selected. First select offset from surface. Select this surface, reverse and translate surface. Now see reverse and translation going on. Select OK. Now see the numbers are projected. Now hide this plane. Select this face, sketch normal. Okay. Now select corner rectangle and draw four rectangles exit now first make relation symmetric this one also symmetric ok now select circle okay now choose stream entities and delete unnecessary inside parts Uh, 
वी फॉरगेट समथिंग हियर नाउ अगेन सेलेक्ट चूज अ लाइन एंड कनेक्ट इट ट्रिम इन साइड ओके नाउ असाइन दी रेडियस ऑल रेडियस सेम जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एम एम now the distance from this line 13 mm and the distance from here to here 3 mm the same for this three mm now the distance from here to this line 7 mm Six mm, first resolve this issue. Select this point and this point horizontal. That's it. And here also this point and this point. Uh, better little go back okay now select this point and this point this relation is very important so the circle will not move here and there here also like okay now select distance this one S 7 mm six mm and this two lengths 14 mm well mm okay now let's make a relation all in same here also better define the so that it will not move here and there the bigger one 14 12 7 6 6 7 Keep nine mm. better to define this relation for every point so your geometry will not move here and there this one defined 9 mm 
and the distance from here to this point four point five mm and the last point this point 5 mm and the distance from this line 2.5 mm ok now select extruded boss and extrude up to 0 0.75 mm ok now choose fillet 0 0.5 mm select all the faces ok now choose right plane mirror and mirror this last two extruded boss and fillet ok now our syringe body is ready see this is the body for syringe so just save as in desktop create one folder syringe open and save this syringe body sorry something went ok well, uh, this is your now let us move for our next part Now we will sketch second part plunger for syringe. So let's start. Choose front plane, sketch. Select a line and start to draw from origin point. Now exit from the line. Here maybe some extra lines. Now let us uh, assign the dimension. Seven point five mm, make three mm, this one make two mm, and this height one mm, and the distance from here to here. assign 6 mm make 10 mm ok now select revolve boss base and select this line as a axis select ok now select this face sketch now here we will draw some cross sections and choose offset 1 mm and select bi-directional select this center line and this center line ok now choose circle ok and draw one more circle up to here ok now select rim entities ok now assign the diameter uh, it's already 2 mm because we already taken now assign the distance keep 8 mm 8 mm ok now choose mirror select this circle mirror mirror about ok now select this circle mirror ok now select trim entities 
now we are going to trim some inside lines now that's it now choose ok choose fillet and make 0.5 mm and select these four corners select ok ok now we will extrude it select extrude 3d and make the height 102 mm that's it ok see now select this face a sketch normal and here we will draw a circle and keep the diameter 26 mm ok now select extruded boss and make the height only 2.5 mm thickness 2.5 mm ok now select this face sketch draw a center line ok again draw, draw three center line actually select all the line and make sure vertical ok now select a line and draw one horizontal line should be passed from origin point ok now select offset entities 1.5 mm select this line bi-directional oh, ok first uh, let assign the gap make four point mm and this also 4.2 mm ok now again choose offset entities 1.5 and select this line ok offset entities 1.5 by directional select this line ok now select circle draw circle up to this point ok choose stream entities and delete the unnecessary circles now let's assign the gap make 10 mm and this line make 8 mm and this distance make 6 mm ok now let's mirror this circle select the circle mirror about horizontal line ok now just extend this line up to here ok select this point and this circle go inside 
now the lines are coincide choose stream entities and try to delete inside lines reverse Maybe something missing. Uh, let's do one thing. Select this point and this circle. Make relation coincide. I think this already coincide. No need. Okay, and here also coincide. Okay, try one more time. Okay, okay. So now this all are the. Now we will try to mirror this to shift mirror. about this line ok now select extrude boss and extrude up to uh, this is uh, too much try 1 m up to 1 mm ok now let's choose fillet make 1 mm and select the select all the faces remove the edges select ok now our plunger is ready now we will assign some color to easily identify let's say yellow color now save as plunger we saved syringe now let's move for next part now we will make third part plunger rubber so let's choose front plane sketch Select a line, we start from origin point. Okay, now let's assign the dimension 11 mm, 1.5. one point eight five and the angle keep twenty degree ten mm okay now select this line and this line make relation collinear okay now select revolve boss base Select this line as a axis. OK. Now see. Now again choose front plane sketch. Normal. And uh, here we will draw our choose line. This is the midpoint. Go to up. up 
to line and connect this end. Now we will assign the 6 mm and the bottom length 7.5 mm. Three mm, three mm. Okay. Now choose revolve cut, and select this line as a axis. Okay. Now see the plunger rubber is ready. This is the plunger rubber for syringe. Now save as. Plunger rubber. Now we will move. Uh, make last part syringe needle and cap now we will create the needle body or you can say hypo body so let's start choose front plane sketch draw a horizontal line select the line make sure it is horizontal select line go up now exit now we will assign the dimension One mm, five mm. Now select these two lines and make relation parallel. Uh, it is already parallel. Zero point seven five mm, zero point five mm. Okay. This length you can increase is is up to you. How much you want? Make it two mm. Now assign the distance from one end to another end. Fourteen mm. That's it. Okay. Now draw two circles and assign the four mm, four point two, and the gap one mm. Diameter. One mm. Gap assigned two mm. Seven point eight mm. Okay. Now choose a line. Draw a vertical line up to this line. Again, choose line. Exit. The same for this body also. Now choose stream entities. And. Trim these inside lines. Okay. 
now select revolve boss base okay now select now we will make some dome here so go to insert feature and select here dome keep 2 mm select this face see here okay now select this face sketch normal and here we want to make hole for needle and make the diameter 1 mm now select extruded cut and choose through all okay now this is the body or hypo body uh this one we will assign this color okay now we will make needle so select this face sketch select this line choose convert entities select extruded boss and extrude up to 55 mm or let's say 50 mm and keep thickness Zero point one two five mm. One direction. Okay. Our thickness, I think, not suitable. Okay. Oh, sorry. we need to extrude the extrude boss keep reverse direction and select here 50 mm and choose thin 0.125 mm and make inside thickness see here uh, just reduce the needle 40 mm so it will easily for our assembly okay now select this part and assign different color so it will identify easily okay select top plane sketch normal draw a center line and draw one circle from uh, sorry draw a circle from this point to origin point okay now let's assign the diameter Seven mm. Okay. Now select extruded cut. Choose both side. Okay. Now again choose top plane sketch normal, and again we want to cut it. So select again vertical line. Draw a circle. This time, cancel it, and uh, we want to redraw a circle. Keep two mm. 
now select circle connect up to here and make the diameter 10 mm okay select extrude cut and choose through all both direction okay now select both the points and color the pink this is the actually shape of needle at the end not sharp so now save as needle now let's start the assembly of needle or uh, syringe now we will start the assembly of syringe choose new select assembly okay select our first part here make the part large body okay now first set our screen and everything make the image quality better so the quality of it's better now insert component plunger again insert one more component rubber plunger okay now right click on this and here select change transparency okay uh first we will make the relation then we will choose mat select inside face and select this face coincident okay now here also select this face and this face coincident okay now this face will go inside so select this face and this face okay see it's going inside now you can push the things inside now click on this body change transparency now insert one more component needle okay now choose mat select this face and inside face reverse direction okay now this time we will select the upper surface and this edge see it becomes matte here okay so now see our syringe is ready no need any other uh, relation we can make it see it is rotating still we can make it but i think it's no need it's looking better so this is the our syringe I hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to share and like our video thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks